and we're doing it again in 2021 with Ben Rhodes leading us to green. Didn't take as long to get three wide, did it, Vince? Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, sideways is Crafton, and that's crucial, trying to keep your truck pointed in the right direction. You don't want to burn the good off those new tires. Really want to try to take care of them the best you can. He and Zane Smith going to squeeze Todd Gillel in there in that 38. Oh, and there is the 23 of Chase Purdy into the wall. And speaking of cautions, Mike, you called for it. Is it too early to come get that final set of tires? 100%. We got to we got to save something. So got Purdy a goes around. Bent up Bama buggy there. That's a shame. His crew chief, Jeff Hensley, interesting that the last two races here, he has been the crew chief for both winning vehicles and, of course, last year with Grant Infinger and then oh. years ago with Mike Skinner. They, they, they had four wide for a second, yep. tried to funnel it down, and unfortunately Chase was the loser in that funnel. He was the one that got spit out of the funnel. <laughs> That's right. And was running work. just inside the top 20 at the time. That was Haley Deegan in the one truck, been in a couple of scrape ups, but she's managed to stay on the lead lap, doing a nice job. 20th, 21st position right now. Don't really pin this on her. She had to give a little bit of room at the bottom there for Austin Hill, and they just ran out of room. That's, as they say, Vance, that's one of them racing deals there. Mm -hmm. Now Chase probably would beg to differ, getting bumped and then into the wall. But anytime you you know, normally I keep my luggage in there, but it didn't look like luggage. Pretty, pretty doggone good advertising there for <laughs> Bama Buggies, though, right? Caution out again as Jinjo Cobb has gone around. Uh, those two have something in common. Yeah, Did we see them spun around earlier? Magnets, the yeah. 10 and the 6. That's Norm Betting in the 6. They need to sort this out and not on the racetrack. Frustrations even go deep into the field, don't they? And here they are. Maybe a little payback. NASCAR sometimes frowns upon intentionally spinning someone around. See what maybe led to this. As you can see, I'm up off turn two as Jen Joe's on the outside and Norm well, spins her around there. Might be time to talk to both of them. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Philosophy, yes. So Jin Joe is taking it to the garage. And Norm Benning may be heading there too. <laughs> well, hopefully you don't park beside each other. We don't need that aggravation. Able to finish. Um, something's broke in the front end. I guess it just let go, and the six got on the outside of me. Uh, Chris Wright, this day is done, and there's damage to the 24, and the one looked like got involved in that as well. Yeah. First short track for Chris Wright, and this all happened off turn four, Vince. Yeah. You ought to see. Looked like a lot of smoke. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Damage to both the 24 and. Rafael Lassard and also the one you see there of Haley Deegan on the right front. Both these racers running about just inside the top 20 at the point of the time of contact. This is Chris Wright's issue off two. Oh, loose, loose and makes contact. And that's going to send you straight into the inside right. wall. Hard hit. Man. Thank goodness that safer barrier was there. So the day comes to an end for Chris Wright. Watch this hit again. Now there. this was first, and then watch this mess. There's the 24 of Lassard. Keep an eye on Lassard. He's involved. It's because it's like the 52 of Friesen gets into Tanner Gray and the 15 who gets into the 24 of Lassard. Now watch Lassard. He spun out, right? No, not so quick. And then that's how the one of Haley Deegan got her damage. <laughs> and Lassard kept it headed in the right direction. Hmm. I mean, short track racing, uh, I mean, there's nowhere to go. I mean, you get, 
when somebody gets sideways, it's going to collect others. And that's exactly what happened. But John Hunter Nemechek has made very few mistakes today. One lap remains. The final lap at Richmond. Kyle taking a little different line and look. But it's not going to pay off. John Hunter Nemechek just has to negotiate three and four. Wow, look at that drive from Kyle to try to get to the bumper <laughs> in the outside, but it doesn't work. John Hunter Nemechek, the winner at Richmond. John Hunter Nemechek came from the, the Cup Series to the Truck Series saying, I'm going to win races. And he is winning races. That's win number two. Two of six. It's a little salute from the boss. And KBM wins its fourth in a row. A new daddy getting to celebrate a win behind the wheel of his race truck. And win number 39 for crew chief Eric Phillips, the winningest crew chief in series history, and John Hunter going to burn it down in celebration. What, what an all, impressive run today. That's what it's all about in advance, getting to burn those tires down, getting out of the truck and seeing fans in the stands, cheering what you're able to accomplish. It's been a, been a pretty special couple of weeks for this young man. Became a dad. <laughs> Never give up attitude. Uh, I just can't thank Kyle, uh, everyone at Toyota, all of our great partners. Uh, it's pretty cool um, to be able to come out here and do what we did. We, we had a really fast truck. I'm super proud of all my guys and thankful for all them. Thankful for our partners, uh, Safeway, uh, Acme, um, all of our uh, partners here with them. But um, I know the president is here uh, from Safeway and Acme, so that's pretty cool to get them a win on their own turf. And uh, thank you for believing believing in me and uh, it's pretty cool. Taylor and Aspen are actually here out in the motorhome. So um, uh, hopefully we can get to celebrate with them here soon. I know it's been uh, an amazing time with Aspen so far in this world and it puts a lot of different things into perspective, but I just can't thank all my guys, all of our partners, everyone enough for believing in me and giving me this opportunity. And uh, it's two wins, hashtag here for wins. Let's go get more.